Hey y'all, welcome to my morning routine. Well, technically it's me and Hazel's morning routine, but mm, I love the morning. I've always been a morning girl. I think it's because I like to work hard, play hard. So if I start my day off earlier in the day, then I have more time to enjoy myself later on. But first things first, after I take a Snapchat of Hazel because she looks so freaking cute and cuddly in my bed, I put my contacts in, brush my teeth, throw on some deodorant, my workout clothes, my tennis shoes, and a hat, and I'm out the door for my morning jog. Once I got in the habit, it got to be pretty addicting, and so I try to run about three to five miles, three days to five days a week. After my run, the energy levels are flowing and my tummy is rumbling. So for breakfast, I usually cook two eggs, black beans, and corn tortillas. It's kind of my rendition of migas. I love starting the day off with lots of protein. It keeps me full longer throughout the day than a piece of toast or cereal would. And then while I'm eating breakfast, I like to sit down for a little bit of quiet time. The devotional I've been using is called The Blue Book. It's by Jim Branch. And I just love spending this time with God in the morning every day because it reminds me what's important and just puts my whole day into perspective. And next, it is time for a shower. And I mean, we won't go there because nothing really exciting happens there. Except for once a week, I do use Mark Anthony's deep conditioning hair treatment. It has coconut oil and shea butter, so it hydrates and revives my hair and leaves it super shiny. I love using Mark Anthony. It makes my hair so soft, and I'm so excited to be working with them, especially for all those Texas people out there because you can get Mark Anthony from H-E-B. I wash my face with Pacifica's Kale Detox Face Wash, and can we please look at how cute this bottle is? It's for acne prone or oily skin and it cleanses, tones, and removes your makeup all in one step and I'm all about shortening my skincare routine. Next, I use Clean and Clear's Dual Action Moisturizer with Salicylic Acid. And then it's time to do my hair. So I use T3's Wand Curling Iron and I just add some waves into my hair. And once I have my hair do looking exactly the way I want it, I use Mark Anthony's Oil of Morocco Argan Oil Hairspray. This is a lightweight hairspray, so it leaves my curls and my hair still looking alive and it still has movement. But it has argan oil, which nourishes my hair, and then keratin strengthens my hair. And now we're off to do my makeup. So first, I prime my face with Ray Cosmetics Climate Control Primer. I apply that with my fingertips just all over my face. For foundation, I have been loving Pacifica's Serum Foundation. I focus that on my forehead, nose, chin area, and this just adds a bit of a natural, dewy glow, but it also has great coverage. I use my Sigma Duo Fiber F50 brush to blend all of that in. Next, I use Neutrogena's Shine Control Powder to set everything, and this prevents my face from getting oily later on. And now it's time to go for a tan, my favorite part of my makeup routine. I love this combination of bronzers. I use Benefit's Hula Bronzer and Too Faced's Bronzer all over my face, mainly on the outside corners, to boost the bronze. To prime my lids, I've been using Benefit's Air Patrol BB Eyelid Primer. And the difference between this primer and any other primer is that it has SPF 20 and also color corrects my lid. It has a memory gel applicator. It's like softer than your pinky. It feels amazing. For shadow, I'm using a combination I chose from my Buxom Eyeshadow Bar Palette. So first I apply a color called Designer or Dye. It's a matte beige and I just apply that all over my lid. Next I'm using a medium, kind of an orange toned brown color called Invite Only on my lid and a little above the crease. But I don't worry about blending anything just yet. Next, I'm using Star Treatment, a shade of brown, and I apply that just as little V's on the outside corners of my eyelids, and then take my Sigma E40 Vab brush and blend all of that in. To highlight, I'm using Diamond Darling. I just highlight a tad directly under my brow bone on the outside, maybe one third of my brow bone. And next, this is so hard to capture on video, but I waterline my top lid with NYX's Cole Pencil Eyeliner. So today, I want some mega lashes. 
First I use L'Oreal Telescopics Mascara to add length to my lashes and this kind of gives them a spidery like really long effect. So then I need something to add volume. I used Dior's Blackout Mascara which is Sephora's like darkest blackest formula that they actually carry and this just intensifies the volume of my lashes. Next I'm using Benefit's Erase Paste to brighten and highlight under my eyes with my Beauty Blender. Next I'm going to add a brush of blush from NARS just to the apples of my cheeks or directly on the center and then blend that out. And for lip color, I have been obsessed with Buxom Lip Foundations. This is in the color Bear and it is a creamy matte lip foundation. I love the color of this. It looks super natural, but it stays on for so long. Today on my fashion vlog, I'm styling a burgundy overall dress, and I'm pretty sure I had this same dress whenever I was five, but this one I got from Topshop. I paired that with a striped crop top that I got from Free People, and I am obsessed with the neckline on this crop top. It's kind of a midway turtleneck. My black booties are from Nordstrom's and they are super comfortable. And then I'm also wearing my Daniel Wellington watch. This goes with so many outfits, so I have it on 24-7. So here is the finished look. Y'all can leave me a comment down below with what y'all think. And there is my morning routine. Thank you so much for watching. If y'all want to see more videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And I would love for y'all to come say hi on Twitter and Instagram. My usernames are at Danny Austin, and they actually just launched a style blog. I'm so excited about it. It's just thedannyaustin.com. I'll put all those links down below so y'all can come say hi. But for now, have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.